The Model 1891 Carcano rifle was the Italian standard issue firearm during both world wars and is very well known in the collecting community for both good reasons and... <clears throat> But what is not well known is the very first use of the Carcano. Even though the rifle began production in 1892, Italy did not have the manufacturing capacity to produce enough ammo for the rifle to have been used in the first Italian-Ethiopian wars from 1894 to 1896. Instead, the rifles would first see action in... Italy. Nice. In 1897, Italy's wheat production dropped from 3.3 million tons down to 2.4, resulting in a 47% decrease in, in wheat-related prices by April of 1898. Street demonstrations and protests began demanding cheaper prices for bread. The protests quickly be became riots, and the military was called in to attempt to put an end to the chaos that became known as the Bread Riots. The troops were led by Italian General Lorenzo Bava Beccaris, who deployed his infantry, cavalry, and even artillery to try and restore the peace. In total, General Beccaris had around 45,000 men available. As you can imagine, it didn't work out too well. In Pavia, on May 6, rioters stretched chains across the streets to block cavalry charges. They threw rocks and bricks at the soldiers, attempting to keep the peace. Throughout the country, rioters and soldiers clashed, resulting in deaths on both sides. The rioting became so extreme that during a mostly peaceful demonstration on a mill in Calabria, the owner threw money into the crowd in the hopes that they would go away. The mob didn't, and instead replied, It is not your money we want, but your skin. Except in Italian. The mill was stormed, and the owner and his wife were both killed with a hatchet. In Milan, on May 7, Horse carriages and furniture from pillaged houses were overturned in the streets to act as a blockade to keep soldiers from entering. On May 8th, tiles and bricks were thrown down onto the troops. In the Piazza del Duomo, Milan Square, Beccaris' men pushed through the city to try and regain control. They were met with rocks, bricks, and even some rifles that riders took from the city. According to the Italian government, two soldiers and 80 demonstrators were killed, with 450 wounded. Other sources claim between 300 and 400 killed, and 1 to 2,000 wounded. No thanks to the artillery. For his actions, King Umberto I awarded General Beccaris the Grand Officer of the Military Order of Savoy. King Umberto I, on the other hand, was assassinated on 29 July 1900 by Gaetano Bresci, who claimed he wanted to avenge those killed by the Italian troops in Milan. This episode of Ryan Teaches History is brought to you by my own Model 1891 Carcano rifle. This rifle was made in 1915 by the Tyranny Arsenal. Even though it was not made at the time of the massacre, this is the same model of rifle that Bacaris's men would have carried. This rifle is one of my favorites of my collection, as it is a result of a restoration project I undertook. When I bought the rifle, it was only a barrel, rear sight receiver, bolt body, and trigger assembly. Over the course of seven months, I slowly found the parts of the rifle to restore her back to complete and firing condition, except for the handguards, because those are pretty much impossible to find. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you all in the next video.